day Again, that MP9, they're showing the knee, stitching everything up. And there's no entry. Four gets four. What did we just, was that like a jumping headshot? Hello? <laughs> what on earth did we just see? Cover off, middle kick, falling with an AWP up close though, this guy's getting Nico, jumping across with that eagle trying to bait out and get information, you can't be flying down by Sabini, so this is actually starting to turn once more, and force out oh! into the war! Oh, well, he's gonna save out of the for falling through the wall, gets one of Shadow, a brilliant play, he finds next as well! He's on to a 4 game if he can find Sabini because he's already had two. Nitro gonna be going down, what a hold coming out of Michael here. And Adren trying to see if he can isolate him in the corner. It's gonna be simple to pick up that kill from right behind the Hiko with a headshot on the AC and that brings it effective now in main. If it comes to an after find, if it comes to a defuse, that's gonna be dangerous. Great shot from Rain, takes down one, he's fading simple for the shot. Not being successful here, two on three. Whoa, sick flick and that opens it up. Hiko's gonna peek out and take out Fox. That's starting things off now. The crossfire has been established, but Hiko taking care of work all on his own. He's gonna get all three, simple. He's the perfect bait. He allows Hiko to just step out there. Catch up with the Beautiful flash. And he's just going to get the frag. Trying to spray through the smoke here. He's actually missing everything somehow. But the dive comes through from Tarek. He'll get the refrag. And COG will be able to continue the presence on the platform. And they might just be able to jump off onto the bomb site. All that's not lost yet for COG. Four versus four though. But look at the lack of rotation from Gambit. They've still got Adren and Mo miles away from the B bomb site. And COG are streaming. And this is going to be a massive problem for Gambit. They've taken down the bomb carrier. So it's going to be hard for CLG to plant the bomb, and they've only got 30 seconds to do it. We, to, to plant it. We've been here before. Those just covering the angle where they got to plant. They've got time to do it now, and nobody to stop them. He could have just held behind that rock and gone to the shoulder piece, but he's gone for it, and CLG has taken it. Three versus three. You would have thought Bialy could have pulled the same play considering the situation. Good shot from Pasha. The shotgun in the sight. They didn't even consider it. He's got two. Max seven on this quasi buy. It's making all of the difference. Smith goes for the nose goal. Pasha's got him as well. So now, get right to the bomb. It's redefined. Yep. So. Oh, but gonna come in. Is he gonna get a second in? Oh, two. he's trying to get two. He, he does get the second. He's in. Got it. Two dice for Zippel. You get and the Mike Kalili now. Standing. Welcome to Championship Sunday and the Grand Final! Hold the kill right here, Ferg pushing Guardian, dropping the bomb, and 15 seconds now, Fallen's in position, and he picks up one. Now it's a one on one, but CC can't even run. He has to fight here. 10 seconds left, Fallen. He misses the first one, still another 8 seconds left, Fallen. Pushing around, he gets a shot, and it's gonna be the double kill. Luminati! Look at that crowd! That's a Luminati. He's not gonna get the kill, Fallen will be going down. And now it is a one on two. Taco, look at his he can close it out here and win it for the Brazilians. It's gonna be a big turnaround there. Hits the headshot on Sousa. Now it's a one on one. Guardian versus Taco. It may just be destined to be. And it's Luminosity winning their first major championship.
Love is here.